Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I will be talking about using of stacked sequence structure in place of flat sequence structure. So let's first explore when to use stacked sequence structure. When the number of frames in a flat sequence structure are large so that we have to scroll from left to right on the block diagram to see the various frames then to avoid confusion and inconvenience in programming we use a stacked sequence structure in place of a flat sequence structure right so let's take a program and explore the need of stacked sequence structure through that program illustration. So the programming task at hand is generate numbers from 1 to 10, display a message, then generate even numbers from 1 to 10, then display a message, generate odd numbers from 1 to 10, then display a message. So these six events should happen in a sequence. And I have developed a program in a flat sequence structure which is shown on the screen. So this is a program to generate numbers from 1 to 10. This is a for loop and after that I have incremented and generated an array. So this is a program which generates numbers from 1 to 10. Then it shows generated numbers 1 to 10. Check if it's correct. This is 1 to 10 indicator. Then this number should be 5. all the even numbers generated and stored onto an array numbers even numbers generated from 1 to 10 even numbers indicator then odd numbers generated from 1 to 10 and this message displays odd numbers indicated so let's run the program so generated numbers from 1 to 10 check if it is correct so numbers are generated from 1 to 10 so it is correct so I should click on the correct so light goes on for 1 to 10 indicator then even numbers generated from 1 to 10 check if it is correct all the even numbers are generated so it is correct so I should click on the correct generated odd numbers from 1 to 10 or numbers are generated from 1 to 10 so it is correct so I click on the correct so this program is working just fine but there is an inherent problem we have to scroll from left to right to see the various frames of the flat sequence structure so this this thing as earlier I have talked about when the number of frames in a flat sequence structure are large so that we have to scroll left to right and right to left on the block diagram to see various frames this causes inconvenience as well as confusion in programming so we use a stacked sequence structure in place of a flat sequence structure so let's explore how to use a flat a stacked sequence structure in place of a flat sequence structure so there is an option which is known by 
replace with stack sequence structure. So when I click on this, so this whole thing has been replaced with a stack sequence structure. So there are now now this is the zeroth frame. This is the first frame. This is the zeroth frame which generates numbers from one to ten. This is the first frame. This is a second frame which generated num generates numbers from uh, all the even numbers from one to ten. This is the third frame which shows even numbers a message for even numbers. This is the fourth frame which generates numbers or the odd numbers from one to ten. And this is the fifth frame, which again displays the message for generated odd numbers from one to ten. Okay, so zeroth frame, zero to five. This indicates that there are frames from zero to five, and from here also we can. Get to the various frames. This gives the next frames. This gives the back frames. Right. So let's run the program. Let's first reinitialize the values. Numbers generated from 1 to 10, correct. Even numbers generated from 1 to 10, correct. Or numbers generated from 1 to 10 correct so this works fine so now we don't have to scroll from left to right we have all the frames on our just one look we can have all the frames so this stack sequence structure is used when the number of frames are too much large supposingly a sequence may have 100 frames then we cannot use a flat sequence structure we have to use a stack sequence structure now there is another thing if we have to pass a value to the next frame in stack sequence structure uh, if I replace it with Replace it with flat sequence structure. If supposingly I have to pass a value iteration to the next terminal, so what would I do? I would just click on this and here I can pass the data. It will show the iteration and here also in the next frame I would pass the data if I have to pass the data to the next frame I will again draw this line and so on so in this way I, I will connect the lines and pass the data this is You, you can disable indexing supposingly just I want to 
you know about the iterations so i can pass the data to the next frame then from here i can pass the data to the next frame and just keep on passing the data so it can be done so in this way all the frames the data can be passed on to the next and so on what what to do what to do if i have to pass the data in a stat sequence so there is no option of wiring so what you have to do is you have to create a sequence local so you can just pass the data over here you can now connect it so the arrow appears which passes the data to the next frame so in the 1th frame we have this there is a sequence local which from which we can have the data so if i create constant create an indicator over here this is the iteration terminal so this way we can pass the data let's take a look at another example i have a programming task at hand that i have to generate a random numbers and i have to plot a task and when i hit the stop key it should display the message done right so i have to show the iterations that how many iterations have passed so i have created this sequence local over here and it will show in the next frame that when i hit the okay key how many iterations have been done so let's run the program data has been plotted at a delay of 250 milliseconds on the waveform chart so when i click on the stop button done is displayed and 63 iterations have been shown so how the iterations from the frame 0 have gone on to the frame 1 because of this iterations sequence local actually this wire is like this so arrow when we create a sequence local the arrow points towards outside to the frame from where the data is to be taken and and the data where it is received the arrow is in the opposite direction towards left towards inside of the loop so this is all about using stack sequence structures in labview thanks for watching my video tutorial